All right, hello, and welcome to our first math lesson for group B. So here are the things you're gonna to need to get out of your red math folder. You're going to take out your multiplication chart, your grid, a calculator, dice, and your rainbow tiles. So let's look at what we're doing. The first thing we're going to do, and this is something that I like to do with my kids um, before we even start any math, um, is we use the manipulatives in a challenging way. I give them a challenge, um, usually for hand-eye coordination or fine motor control. Um, so we're going to be doing our hand-eye warm-up. We're going to be counting our tiles and putting them into tens and ones. Talk about place value practice. We're gonna be rolling the dice and we're gonna be multiplying. First, we're gonna make an array, then we're gonna check with our multiplication chart, and then we're gonna check with our calculator. So let's go ahead and start. So here's what you're gonna do. You're going to take your rainbow tiles and you're going to dump them out and you're going to make as high of a tower as you can. How high can you make it go? Let's see how high you can go. How many more do you think I can put on before it topples over? Are you able to get yours as high as I am? Try again if you want. Oh my goodness. Uh-oh, I have a feeling starting to really lean. really starting to wiggle now. That seems like it's just kind of fooling around, but really it's very good for them to be able to focus using that hand-eye coordination, sustained, sustained focus and attention. Those are ways that you can cultivate that in your child. Um, so let's see, now we're going to be counting our tiles in groups of tens and ones. So you're going to be counting. Now, remember we're counting with one-to-one -one correspondence, so we're Starting with our group here and then removing it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's our first group of ten. You're going to keep going until you have your groups of tens and ones. So this is, um, now we've uh, sorted our uh, tiles into groups of tens and ones. So let's count, we've had 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 71. 71 tiles. All right, so here's what we're gonna do next. We're going to roll the dice. 
and take your dice and you're going to roll. Okay, it looks like I have a five and a four. So what you're going to do is you are going to make your array. So you're basically going to do five times four. So we're going to do four groups of five. So let's make our array. Two, three, four, five. That's one group of five. There's two groups of five. There's three groups of five. There's four groups of five. Yes, and there's four groups of five. All right, so you have four groups of five. So let's count by fives now. Five, 10, 15, 20. Four times five is 20. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We made our array. Now we are going to um, check with our multiplication chart. So everybody has one of these. Now, the kids in my class, um, they have not learned their multiplication facts, so they don't, have all of their multiplication facts in their head. So this is a really good tool that I'm having them use. Um, so basically, they're doing this. You're going four times five, and then you're bringing it down, and there's your answer. So they're practicing using their multiplication chart like that. And then the next thing they're going to do is they're going to use their calculator and they're going to check their work. So now we have 5 times 4 equals 20. All right. So now we're going to um, roll the dice again. I want you to do this four more times and um, you're going to Roll your dice, you're going to make your array, you're going to check with your multiplication chart, and you're going to check with your calculator. And good luck. Okay, the next step to this lesson is we're going to be working with division as well. All of these exercises are basically showing your student what division really means, what multiplication really means, and how they are interrelated. Um, again, we're talking about number sense, using hands-on materials to understand the fundamental uh, concepts in math. So uh, we have worked with our multiplication. Now we're going to do a little division component. So you're going to take your dice again. You're going to roll your dice. One and one, that's not very interesting. Okay, six and four. Six and okay. four. So you're going to make your array. We're going to do six four times. Four, five, six. That's six one time. There's six two times. There's six three times. Six three times. Now we're going to do six four times. Okay, so you can count. So six times four, here's your array. That's six four times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, two, one, two, three, twenty-four. 3, 24. So now what you're going to do is you're going to write down the product 24. 
and you're going to divide it between these two things. So you're going to say 24 divided by 4 equals, and then 24 divided by 6 equals. So what that's going to look like is this. So you're going to do 24 divided into four groups. So that's basically what that means. 24 divided by 4 is 24 put into four groups. So let's do that. There's one group. There's two groups. There's three groups. And there's four groups. And how many are in each group then? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 24 divided into four groups is 6. Now, for 24 divided by 6, you're doing it this way. You're dividing your 24 into 6 groups. And we're going to find out how many are in each group. So 24 divided by 6 is 24 into 6 groups. So let's move your array so that your tiles are in 6 equal groups. See that? And then how many are in that group? One, two, three, four. So there you go. You've got your division problem. See how intertwined they are and how much they kind of are the same thing, multiplication and division? All right, so I'm gonna ask you to do um, four more of those as well. And then we will be done with our math lesson for group B for the day. And when you are finished, don't forget, you had to do math today and you will have been done after you finish this lesson. Good job, excellent work.